Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And recently I did a project for a client and I did a uh, interesting thing with the, doing the fill. I call it scribbling. Uh, it's been also called the flicker effect. Uh, but basically I did, instead of doing a, a solid fill for the colors and everything, I decided to do uh, the scribbles and then do a cycle of that and what I want to do is show you how I went about doing that as well as parenting that so it moves along with the characters that I've created so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and uh, we have our little character here and I've got just some basic colors shirt pants skin fun stuff uh, and I have different layers set up. I have the face, I have the head, and I'm not really doing any limbs or anything. I'm just going to do the body for right now. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'll go ahead and extend this out uh, to 60 frames. And let's see. So I'll do um, F5 to extend this. And... What I'm going to do next, uh, let's get to my brush tool and I want to add a different layer. I don't want to actually work directly on the layer. I'm just going to add a new drawing layer and I'll just call this body scribble. So yeah, I was talking to um, a, a colleague of mine. And I kept saying, yeah, yeah, there's, there's a scribble I'm working on. And so I finally showed him, he goes, oh, you mean a flicker effect? I was like, okay, flicker effect. All right, so uh, what I want to do is go ahead and grab, I think my brush is at a decent size here. We've got a minimum of three, maximum of 15. And I think we'll start with the pants. So I'll just simply come in here, uh, make sure we're on the right frame. Let's go to frame one. And I'm just going to just kind of scribble in here where the pants are. Nothing fancy. All right, so I wanna to go to my next frame. I'm just gonna use my keyboard shortcut and just press the uh, less than and greater than or the comma and period here. Just move forward one. And I think I do want to turn on my onion skin just to make sure I am kind of coloring in the same spot. All right, and let's do this one more time. Now, the cool thing about using the onion skin, what I can do is try to make sure, uh, see if I can fill in all the spots. So when I'm looking at the onion skin with these three overlay, there's not any blank areas anywhere. Now I am lifting up off my stylus here and there. I am definitely using a Wacom for this. We wouldn't actually attempt to do this with a mouse. You can do it with a mouse. It's just a little more tedious and a little painful. So, all right, so we have those three done and we have 60 frames here. So what I wanna do is click the very first frame, hold down my shift key, click the last frame here, right click, and I wanna say create cycle. Now, uh, this particular shot, I'm just leaving it at the default of 60. So 60 divided by three is 20. So how many cycles do I want? I want 20 cycles of this. So I'll click OK. And so now it's actually filled that entire area. So if I play, so that's what we have so far. OK. Now, to the cool part about this, um, we are saying this is for the body scribble, but I've only done the shorts. Well, let's go in and um, let's grab our shirt color and let's go to frame one. And I'm going to go ahead and scribble out the shirt here. And 
and let's go to frame two and scribble out the shirt again. Now, one of the things that actually helped the effect, um, and this is just, maybe it's just me, but I tend to, when I'm doing the scribbles, I actually am coloring at an angle and it has a really cool effect on it. Um, by the end of it, it looks like uh, you've used some sort of filter or manufactured this. All right, so now I've only drawn three frames, but the cool thing is that since that cycle has already been done, it's just pulling those different drawings. So that's already set up for us, looks good. And so now we'll go back to frame one again. Let's add in the skin. The other cool part about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. You can go outside of the lines here and there. I think at the end of the day, it has a really neat effect. Use my less than and greater than keys again, and let's uh, go ahead and color the rest of these guys in. Now I'm rushing through this a little bit. Ah, too rushed. Okay, let's not mess up our pants there. All right, and the next frame. All right, so now we'll play this. Let's see if I messed up anything. Now, if I messed up my angles, it's going. You'll see something weird happen but I think it's looking pretty decent. All right, now the only thing I wanna change is all of these scribbles are happening on top of the body. And I actually want the, I still want the black outline there. So I'm gonna move this one right below. And the other thing I wanna do is make sure, uh, typically if I were gonna be doing this, the, the arms and everything would be separate, but um, the body right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and parent the body scribble here. So I'm just gonna click and move this right under the body. And that way, if I decide to move the body in any kind of way, the scribble comes along with it. Let's undo that real quick. All right, so that part's done. Now, what I wanna do, uh, speaking of Parenting. I'm going to move the. Nope, I think I'm going to leave the face exactly where it is. Uh, I do want to add another drawing layer though. And this will be the head scribble. Scribble, flicker. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, let's grab my brush tool. Let's go to the first frame. And we have the skin. And this is going to be the very first frame. Use my little shortcut key, go to the next frame. And again, let's go to the next frame. So we've got three frames here. Let's select frame one, hold on our shift key. Select frame three, right click, and we'll say create a cycle. And this is going to be 20 frames again. All right, so if I click and play this, it's not too bad. What I wanna do is definitely take the head scribble and I wanna have it parented to the head Okay. All right, so if I play this now, looks pretty decent. 
And I'm going to do a few things here. Uh, I think at about frame 20, I think I'll have the head look somewhere different. Uh, so we can show you exactly what the parenting is going to do. So let's turn on our animate. All right, and let's drop in a keyframe at the very beginning here. Let's do F6. And perhaps maybe at about frame 15 or so. I think we're at 14. Let's do another little key there. And right about 40, I think I'm going to rotate this a little bit. I'll move my pivot point just to the center. All right. I'm going to undo that last move there. Okay, make sure our pivot is still in the same spot. Let's have him look a little bit different. Looks good. All right, and our face, let's do F6. And we'll have him move down that way. And last but not least, we'll have him go backward to where he was. So we'll copy these keyframes here, simply Command C, Control C on PC. Let's go right almost to the end here and paste these keyframes, Command V. So now if we play this, All right, now a couple of things I want to do. Um, it takes them too long to actually do that move. So I'm going to copy the keyframes where his head is right down here. So copy, and let's come down to about frame 20 and paste that. So now his head will turn down there. He's going to look for a second, then he's going to come back. So let's play that. All right, and there you have it. There's uh, the little scribble technique we did, plus a little bit of uh, how I like to play around with stick characters and give them a little bit of that 2.5D look. So, you know what? I think I do want to add one last thing here. Uh, a little homage to uh, Chucky from the Rugrats. I think I'm going to add a little object to his shirt. Going to double click and add a new color here. Nice kind of, I don't know, what is that called? Coral, I guess. I'm going to call the shirt too. All right, so let's go to our brush. Let's go back down to our body scribble. And that's frame one. And let's see if we actually see anything with our onion skin turned on. Let's go to frame two. Eh, not really. But I kind of know where I'm working. All right, so again, all it's got to do is those three frames. And I'm just going to click play. And there you have it. So you could get complicated, like give his pants some stripes or something weird like that. But you can have a lot of fun with this. If you use this for anything, let me know. Um, shoot us a YouTube link and uh, I'd love to post it. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.